okay good day everyone welcome to our channel our topic for today is fundamental concept of analytic geometry so analytic geometry analytic geometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with the properties behaviors and solution of points lines curves angles surfaces and solids by means of algebraic method in relation to coordinate system so in 1637 rene descartes introduced coordinate system this outmost contribution of descartes in the area of mathematics paved the way of unifying algebra and geometry and we call it now analytic geometry so for our first topic directed line so can we define directed line so what is directed line directed line as a line which has definite sense of direction so for example if we have a certain line we have an origin and the direction of our of our line directed line so it, along our line we have point m we have two points point m and point n so directed line this entire line we call this directed line how about the portion between point m and point n we call this directed line segment directed line segment it means that it is only a portion of our line of our directed line so for example if we have m n bar n so the direction of our of our line is going positive okay so if you can say we have an origin and we have the arrowhead So the line is directed to our arrowhead. For example, M, N. So M, N bar N. So the, the sign of our line is positive. What if, if it is N, M? N, M bar. So the sign of our line, of our directed line segment is negative. Since it is going back or facing to our origin if it's going back to our origin the sign of this line is negative if it's going to our arrowhead the sign of this line segment is positive so i hope that our directed line segment is clear by now so let's proceed to the real number line what is real number line a real number line is a directed line with its points corresponding to real numbers. So, real number only. Ano ba yung mga real number only? So, it's a whole number, whether it's positive or negative. For example, if we have a line... If we have a line... <clears throat> divide into two, in between them, we have an origin. So it is divided, segmented into two parts. So we have the positive side and the negative side. So negative one, negative two, and so forth, negative three. So we have an origin here. Again, real number consists of positive number and negative number and zero as your origin so as a part 
So, real number, whether it's positive or negative. So, at these points, for example, at point 3, at positive side, we call this coordinate of a point. Coordinate of a point. And for the several real number, we call them one to one correspondence so this relation of set of real numbers and set of points are directed in the line so we call them one to one correspondence and for our point each point along the line we call them coordinate of a point Okay, so I hope it's clear the real number for the fundamental concept of our analytic geometry. So let's proceed to our next page. So on our, our next page, the topic is the Cartesian coordinate system. So again, it was introduced by René Descartes in 1637. So what is Cartesian coordinate system? So Cartesian coordinate system consists of two real lines intersecting with each other at its point of origin. So it is better if we draw the Cartesian coordinate. So we call this is Cartesian coordinate. So there are two lines intersecting at right angle. So this is right angle, huh? right angle. So let's identify the parts of our coordinate system. So if we have y-axis here, y-axis, we have x-axis. So there are two lines intersecting at right angle. So first part, we have the first quadrant. So sign is positive, positive. Our second quadrant here, sign is negative and positive. For our third quadrant, we have negative, negative. And for our fourth quadrant, we have positive, negative. So for example, if we have a point here, we have a point, three and two so if you're going to grab one two three as your two and for your y one two for example this is our point so our point or our coordinate three and two so we write this as your this is your point and this is your always x and y so your coordinate is composed of your x and y so what do we call this x or what do we call this y? So for our x, we called it what? Abscissa. Abscissa. And for your y, we call them ordinate. Okay, I think it's complete for our Cartesian coordinate system. It's part. Again, so going up, this is a positive. So for your y-axis and for your y-axis going down should be negative and x-axis is positive and this is also negative. So I hope it's clear that this Cartesian coordinate system is clear in your understanding. So to illustrate Cartesian coordinate, let's have an example. For example, we need to illustrate the location of the following points. So we need to, to illustrate this location in our coordinate system or in our Cartesian coordinate. So let's draw our Cartesian coordinate. And we need to locate or plot the given points. So this is our y-axis, negative y, negative x, and positive x. Okay, so for our first point, we have two. One, two, one, two. 
So this is our point A. So point A is composed of two and two coordinates. And for your point B, so x, so it's negative 3. So 1, 2, 3. So we have negative 3 and positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is located. So these are point or coordinate B of negative 3 and 4. How about for your C? We have negative 2, 1, 2, and negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So if this is our negative 3 and this is our negative 2, so this is our point C. So we have negative 2 and negative 3. How about for our fourth coordinate? So we have for D, we have 5. So 3, 4, 5. And for negative 3. So finally, this is our point D of 5 and negative 3. So I hope now that is clear. So you can plot your coordinates in your Cartesian plane. So for your exercise number 1, you can, you can submit your answer in your model account. Thank you for your time and see you see you to our next video. Thank you. And also reminder, uh, when you're submitting your model exercises, please be aware of your time frame schedule. Okay? So thank you again.